Are you a Canadian permanent resident or citizen and wish to bring your parents to Canada for long term? If that is the case, you may consider applying for what is called Canada's Parents and Grandparents Super Visa. For details, watch the video till the end. Welcome back folks. I'm Hassan Sharik, a licensed Canadian citizenship and immigration advisor based in Mississauga, Canada. Through my videos, I provide information on various aspects of Canadian immigration. So if that's of interest, do consider subscribing. Coming back to the topic of the video, which is Canada's super visa for parents and grandparents. This is a visa that allows Canadian citizen and permanent residents to sponsor their parents or grandparents to come to Canada and live with them for extended uh, time periods. Let's first have a look at the eligibility for this particular visa. So first, you must be a parent or a grandparent of a, of a Canadian PR or a citizen. You must have a signed letter from the Canadian child or grandchild who's inviting you. You also have to provide proof of medical insurance from a Canadian insurance provider. Now let's have a look at some of the visa details. So with this visa, you may stay for up to two years on a single entry. This is a multiple entry visa. So you can, you can come and go multiple times. And this visa can be granted for a period of up to 10 years. It is still a temporary visa and does not allow you work rights as such. Now let us look at the requirements for the person who's sponsoring. So as mentioned in the beginning, uh, the person who's sponsoring must be a PR or a citizen of Canada and work permit holders or study permit ho holders cannot apply for a super visa for their parents. The invitee is required to provide proof of their PR or citizenship status. And they are also required to provide a written proof of financial support for the people that they are inviting. This letter of invitation, though it is not required, but the suggestion is that it may be notarized. Um, and the copy of this is to be provided to the applicant so that they can attach that as part of their um, super visa uh, application. The letter um, must include a few details about the persons who are being invited, such as their name, date of birth, address, the relation to the invitee, when does the invited person intend to arrive in Canada and when are they looking to leave Canada. So a few of these details. The letter must also include information about the person who's inviting. Um, so that's um, maybe the, probably the name, date of birth, the address in Canada, uh, the profession as to what is your livelihood means and information about your family size and your household. An important aspect required for this particular visa is to provide proof of income based on your household. And for this, you must meet the LICO income table, which is updated every year. Now, I mentioned that you have to prove income based on your family size. To calculate the family size, you must consider all your dependents in Canada and then add people who are being invited. As an example, if you're married and have two children, then it will be four of you. And if both your parents will be invited for super visa, then the total family size for the purpose of income calculation will be six. If you're looking to sponsor your parents and want to know what will be your exact family size, do provide details of your family members in the comment section of this video and we can help you ascertain that. Now coming towards the income proof. Based on the family size, then the sponsor uh, or the invitee must show proof of enough income for the last 12 months. The income table gets update, updated every year. So a link will be provided in the description of the video where you can, you can go and see. So just as an example, if the total family size was six, as we calculated in our example just a few moments ago, based on the 2020 LICO um, table, the requirement will be approximately 61,000 Canadian dollars. To prove this income, the invitee must provide documentary evidence along with the application. This can be notice of assessments, T4 or T1 slips for a recent tax year or in an employment letter stating the salary income in last 12 months, supported by pay stubs 
and bank statements showing this income coming into um, into your account uh, and this should equal the LICO requirements for the family size in last 12 months now let's look at the medical insurance requirement uh, you must obtain insurance coverage for the invited persons for their proposed stay in Canada. And this has to be provided with the visa application. Um, and it must show that it has been obtained from a Canadian insurance provider. So it cannot be from a non-Canadian or foreign insurance provider. It has to be valid for a period of one year from the date that the invited person is supposed to land in Canada and the minimum amount of coverage should be 100,000 Canadian dollars. The invited person is also required to provide proof of upfront uh, immigration medical examination uh, as, as, as part of their application. And this has to be done in their country of residence. This medical examination is to be done with an IRCC designated medical examination center only. So this is all on the topic of Canada's super visa for parents and grandparents. This is one of the various ways of inviting your parents to Canada and stay with you. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of Canada's super visa. If you like the video, do consider subscribing, liking, as well as sharing because that may benefit some other people within your circle. If you are looking to use our services for submission of super visa application or for you wish to discuss any other immigration matter, you may connect with us through our website. With that, I ask for leave, wishing that you and your family stay safe wherever in the world you are. Take care and bye-bye.